This is planet Earth, currently home to over 7 billion people. Human population is growing exponentially by a projected billion per decade rate since 1990. This means we could easily reach the predicted population of 10 to 11 billion in the next 40 years. If we continue to grow at this alarming rate, in only 674 years, it is possible people could fill the entire land area of the world standing shoulder to shoulder. This increase in human population growth has led to a rapid increase in environmental issues. You could say, population growth drives many of the sustainability issues. We live in a finite world, which means a limit exists. Human population growth impacts the limits of the environment by pollution, deforestation, mining resources, only to name a few. It is possible and even likely that the human ecological footprint will overshoot the sustainable limits of planet Earth. Once they're passed, there's no going back. If population growth isn't managed, it will continue to explode and eventually the crisis will resolve naturally through a population crash. This fate can be avoided through a forward-looking global policy. Is it possible to bring all countries to the same table to develop global policy? It may have to be. We will all be affected by our actions as humans on this earth. In less developed countries, there is excess in birth rates over death rates. This is a huge factor in our exponential growth and it needs to be managed as soon as possible. There is a need for equal distribution of wealth in order to solve this social and ethical dilemma. It is true that as people become more prosperous, children seem to be more of a cost than a benefit economically, as in developed countries. Therefore, in developed countries, the demographic transition has already been reached and we have a stable population. So this means, if there were an equal distribution of wealth and technologies, the populations in less developed countries would likely become stable as well. Education is essential. We need local and global support. For example, it is not ethical for governments to implement population policies that eliminate reproductive rights. A solution to this political conflict would have governments ethically promote, through incentives and education, small family size. Economic, social, political, and religious groups have the potential to solve these conflicts if they work together. The global community needs to find a balance between individual reproductive rights and the collective reproductive responsibility to manage our population and secure a sustainable future.